Dear Dairy, welcome to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Blah, blah, blah. Something like that, I think. Um, pretty uneventful day, I think. I slept through part of it because it was a sleepy kind of day. Oh, don't you start. <laughs> I, just, mm, I felt it. I felt it creeping up the bed. Mm. Um, uh, one thing, th this morning I was at Marie Callender's doing my Sunday breakfast buffet thing that I, I love so. Oh, my God. Um, and this song came over the radio. I'm not sure exactly what the title is, but the title was something like, uh, or one of the lyrics was like, you know, I want to love somebody. I want to love somebody. Um, I know we're only halfway there, but take me all the way, take me all the way. Which I was like, <laughs> it's immature and puerile and silly and childish and Sorry. And then the very next song was um, Love's Been a Little Bit Hard on Me. And I'm like, okay, this is not fair. This is just not fair at all. At all. Um, I give up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Why? I don't know. I watched Olympus Has Fallen today with... Um, a bunch of people I don't know, and uh, Morgan Freeman, and the guy who played Two Face in, you know, Batman, the <laughs> alongside Heath Ledger. Okay. Oh God, there's somebody I miss. I miss Heath Ledger. <laughs> One of my favorite parts is when the Joker goes into you know Harvey Dent's hotel room, hotel room, hospital room, practically the same thing. Um. And he gives him the gun, and he's like, introduce a little chaos. And for one, just the way he says, hi, when he sits down, it's just, oh. But the, would you be quiet? I'm a little bit hungry at this point. Um, but I've got to record three of these things in a row, so I'll eat afterwards. Um... Anyway, so there's there's the initial high thing that he does. And then when Harvey's going to shoot him and he's like turning the coin back and forth, he's like, you live. And, and you know, he's like, yeah. <laughs> like, okay, what? Oh, just oh, it's so utterly dismissive. I just love it. Um, mm. That and... and he, I don't know why. Okay, I was talking about Olympus Has Fallen, and somehow I've, I've diverged onto Heath Ledger, which it's, it's a good divergence. I think it's uh, it's a fine, fine man right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, uh, there was something else. I'm sure there was something else. Was it, uh, no, probably not. Um, yes, I think I told you guys I'm going to Houston next, next weekend. It's one week from now. I will be in Houston. Um, there was a guy, uh, I just watched the video exactly on YouTube just moments before I started recording this. <clears throat> um, what's his name? Uh, Joseph Costello, I think. Is his name? Let me check that. Yes, Joseph Costello. He did this little experiment where he's walking around Austin and he's interviewing people and he's asking them, would you vote for a heterosexual president? And they're like, no, 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 no. We need to keep that office clean. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is like, this is like when, when Penn and Teller sent, you know, the young lady to the, the the environmental rally and she was getting petitions uh against dihydromonoxide it's like, are you even paying attention there was one guy in the in the video that that mr costello did i just there are few few people in this world that i think you know what he should probably die 
uh, guy with ideas like this really has no place being on this earth. And I don't mean Mr. Costello. I mean one of the guys that he's interviewing. Um, and yet, and yet at the same time, he's allowed to. He's allowed to have these opinions and these, these feelings and make these statements because... That is what this country is based now. If he takes actions on these these things, that becomes a whole different game, you know. But I mean, he's he's got every constitutional right to think what he wants, as grotesque as his ideals might be. There was um, I can't remember who it was that that said it. It might have been Thomas Jefferson. It was probably not. And, and Lance would be very upset with me for not knowing this, I think. Um, but he, because he quotes the guy all, well, not all the time, but he's quoted him a lot. And he says, you know, basically says, I may not, I, I may not agree with your opinion, sir, but I will defend to the death your right to have them. Or something along those lines. And that's very true. It's very true. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. And even if I don't agree with it, even if I am horrified and disgusted by it, you still have the right to have that opinion. Just be prepared for the fact that there are a lot of people who are not necessarily as understanding of that fact as I am. Um, I just, uh, I don't know, that guy. Oh, Let's move on to a better, <laughs> a better topic. What else did I, um, Olympus has fallen. Yeah, very cool. I, I actually, um, I liked it. Um, I, I found that there were many parts of the thing where I'm sitting there watching and I was like, and then I realized that I was like, you know, white knuckling the, the arm of the chair and I was like, Okay, <laughs> it's got me a little bit. Um, you know, a lot of the fight scenes and stuff were really, really, you know, quite cool. Um, it was you know, the way the cinematography was done. It was <laughs> difficult to see what was going on, but I think that's that's what added to part of the the chaotic, you know, level of it. Um, some elements of the movie I didn't quite get, like the idea that it would take the military. 15 minutes to get to the White House if something was going down over there no and if there's a C-130 that's that's flying towards Washington that, that is not on any flight plan uh, no no those jets would have been there way faster it would have been you know we're three minutes out no no that would have been especially under those circumstances mm -mm. No, that would have been yes. You are, you are authorized to use full military thrust. They'd have been there. I mean, way, way faster, way faster. Um, uh, but aside from some of those niggling little, you know, bits and pieces of it. Kind of being buzzed again. Um, aside from those, it was it was it was good. I, I liked it. It was fun. Um, it also made me wonder. In a lot of movies, we see statements like "We don't negotiate with terrorists," and the first thing they do is they start negotiating with the terrorists. And I'm like, you know, um, I don't think that there would be a single person working in the White House in level, you know, high cabinet level official capacities who is not prepared and fully understanding that if, you know, somebody says, don't give this guy your codes, you know, if they're threatening to shoot you, if the president doesn't, you know, give you the codes, well... Eventually, the president will cave and say, wait, don't hurt her. I mean, I know that that's kind of the, the hero mentality and, you know, don't hurt her. I'll tell you what you want. I just, you know, in, in, in a real life situation, it'd be like, 
blow her head off. I'm not giving you the codes. And I would imagine that her thing was like, yeah, blow my head off. He's not giving you the codes. Because you know what's going to happen? You're going to kill me, and then he's going to be pissed, and he's still not going to give the code. Not only is he not going to give you his code, I'm not going to give you mine, then you're down two of the three that you need. It just, it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'll let you guys go. I've got uh, two more of these things to record. Got to go and record Motivational Monday and TMI Tuesday. At some point later this week, I've got to record Monday and Tuesday for next week as well, before I leave. Hmm. Got to record all this while I still have my access to all my gear, because I won't have it when I take off. Anyway, I will talk to you both later on. And I will see you for Motivational Monday. And until then, be careless.